Hello, my YouTube fans. Yes, yes, I see that. Uh, I know you notice that there's two chess sets on, on one board. Well, I actually had a whole video made, but I found that my microphone was uh, um, humming. So, uh, I, and not only do I need a new camera because it's not high resolution enough and it doesn't autofocus, but it seems like I need a new microphone again because the damn thing has got a loose ground. I must have dropped it one day. Okay, I think that hum is almost gone. In any case, so hopefully some of you noticed um, by now, I, I only did it about an hour or two ago. I've been rearranging uh, my chest channel so that you can see the playlists better. Um, I've been, I, you know, I made the uh, Chess Academy uh, playlists more visible in hopes that um, you continue to enjoy those playlists, even though the newest one is almost two years old now. Um, you know, the chess lessons are free. Please visit, watch, you know, subscribe and all that stuff. But as you know, you know, the, the, the chess content, you know, I've been, I've been struggling to find more chess content and it's not easy. So I've been putzing around with silly things like uh, the Magic the Gathering cards and things like that, but that's very expensive. I can't keep doing that. Uh, occasionally I might buy a couple of packs from, from the Walmart just as a you know fun thing to do and open them up for you and see if I find anything good um, uh, I may be able to in not too far a future in the next uh, month you know, within the next couple of weeks I might be able to pull off finding a bundle pack and that sort of thing but uh, as you know it's just for the game um, you know me I like the chess with a chess, with chess, you know, you can buy a decent twenty-dollar chess set with vinyl board, and be good for life. Of course, I have more than that, as you can see in front of you. I have more than that. Over the over the decades, I have collected a few sets. In fact, I've had a lot more. I give have given some away, quite a few of them actually. So, um, the one thing I wanted to, you know, I, I'm just trying to find some content for my YouTube, and I figured I'd give this little filler video just to introduce to you some of my sets uh, I might I might show you the rest of them I got some pretty weird sets I got one that's a uh, it's almost like a stained glass you know um, I'll show you that one sometime in not too far off future uh, but I want to talk about this one because um, what you see is two sets in front of you this is the the the, the plastic set is the Druki set now Druki is a company that that uh, stopped making, stopped selling pieces in 19, I mean 2010. They started off, I think, in 1950. Uh, and they were like a major supplier, a major ma manufacturer of beautiful chess boards and pieces, etc. The chess store on, on if you if you look up Druke, it's D-R-U-E-K-E, -E, um, you'll find right away, Google takes you right to the chess store and they'll, 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 they'll highlight a a whole story behind the person who, you know, the name, his name is Juki. I forgot his first name. But, uh, so I have this one Juki set. And I, I don't know if you can, I don't know if I can get this to, let me see if I can make sure it's right side up. It's embossed in, inside the rooks, the name. There you go. I tried this with the white set and you can't really see it because the white glare and the white, you know. So you can see it says Druki in the Rook. And, you know, it's, um, the thing about this set is that, you know, I mean, it's a standard size king, you know, three and three eighths inch, three and whatever the standard. But the, the queen is a bit smaller. They're heavily weighted. The thing about this set was always, um, um, I never really liked the queen, you know, they had, didn't have much of a crown. But uh, nevertheless, they're heavily weighted. They're a nice feel, so they got like a matte finish to them. But the knights, the knights are fat, and, and they'd actually be, they'd actually, you know, be able to be big enough for a four-inch king. You know, they're, they're so large, they're bigger than the rooks, as you can see. See, they're bigger than the rooks, they're even as tall as the bishops, you know. Um, now, I've got I've got my wooden set, which, which I'm going to talk to you about in a second. Uh, this is a four-and-eighth-inch king. This is a, a larger king. That's a larger set. The bottoms are so big that they crowd the, the squares on the board, which means I need a larger square board. Uh, you know, like a two and a half inch square. These are two and one eighth inch square, I believe. Um, a two and a half inch square is a good size for, for these pieces. Um, but if I were to put the, 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 the 
the knight from the four inch set against the knight from the the Druki knight with the three inch. You can see there, it's yes, it's bigger and it is certainly a nicer set, but um, it's it's not much wider. In fact, it's about the same width. That this is a very let me just grab that right. As you can see, even the Druki set eclipses you know in some way it's just as wide it's a little bit shorter but as you can see it's a very uh, um, you know that's that's the four inch set you know the big wooden set nice night let me see if I can just turn that to the camera so you can see the the, the teeth okay and this is the plastic Druki set which only goes with a three and Three eighth inch king or whatever standard king. Okay, so it is uh, a very unique for thirty five dollars. I believe I paid for it thirty seven dollars. I paid for the Druki set uh, at the time. Um, it is actually one of the most sought after sets. Um, and considering that this wooden set only cost twice that, just a few years ago, and they're heavily weighted. Four and eighth inch king. Yes, I hear a siren. Um, they do come with extra queens, whereas the Druki set did not. So here's the thing: the reason why I have this out, aside from trying to sort of find some filler content for my my YouTube channel, and uh, this is sort of a a spur of the moment, you know, thought that I might show you this, is because I never had because I, I I recently I you know. In the last few years I've uh, say say I kind of went broke you know to make a to make to put it to put it um, roughly and I haven't been able to buy anything you know frivolous any kind of uh, nice chess set or chess board or anything that I really you know any lux luxury items that I would you know always wanted but uh, this gentleman at the chess club kept asking about this Druki set I bring it there every week I, I teach the kids with it and everything that's the set that I use to teach the kids, you know, while the chess club has their own sets. Um, he was interested in it, and I told him, you know, I, and he didn't even hear of Druki. Nobody seems to hear of Druki. A chess club never heard of Druki. Were you kidding me? Druki used to be one of the major, or if not the major, manufacturers. They're a U.S. manufacturer, made in the USA. And they went out of business in 2010. They sold the last, last item in 2010. So it's kind of a collector's item. That I have this one set in to my name with Juki. But here's the thing. I told them I have this wooden set that I never had a really nice wooden board to go with it. Because those wooden boards are for this set or for two and a half inch square, we're looking at around two hundred dollars for a really nice wooden board. Even the cheaper ones, if I if I were to go for the cheapest wooden board, not not cheesy, I mean actually wooden board, and I don't mean laminated or anything like that. I mean an actual, you know, uh, made with, you know, heavy wood. Um, we're still looking at $150 for, for the, you know, nice but less expensive two and a half inch square or better um, wooden board. So he says, you know, I have one. And I think you'll like it. And he was after the Druki set. So I brought it. I brought the set in. I brought the the wooden set in, and uh, he didn't take me seriously. I thought he, I, you know, I thought he knew that I wanted to check it out. So I have to do it again this Thursday. For, bring it to the chess club again, and I'll check it out. And I may actually trade a one and only plastic Druki set for that wooden board, if it's as nice as he says it is, and if it goes well with my wooden set. So. Hopefully, if that if all goes well, the next time I show you this wooden set, it'll be on this table, but it'll be on the wooden board. Um, I could also, you know, make some more uh, spur of the moment videos about chess. Um, I I have some I have a few unique sets. You know, I could show you all my chess sets. They're, they're standard, you know, sets. But I have another unique set. It's kind of a stained glass set that I that I never really showed anybody. I don't play on it because I think I think the uh, the uh, wire in between the um, in between the lines on the chessboard I think they're soldered with lead solder and 
and it's kind of counterintuitive to be playing a game that's supposed to expand your 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 brain power uh, to be playing on a set that may have lead in it uh, which would uh, diminish your brain power so I kept that set hidden away and if I ever bring it out it's going to be put on display behind a glass case and nobody's ever going to play it because I don't see the point in uh, possibly poisoning yourself trying to play chess but I'll show you that I'll show you that set to you and uh, I don't know as far as any more chess academy is concerned I don't have any more chess academy content uh, but I think I mentioned already that I did just a couple hours ago um, 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 rearrange my channel so that you can have access to the chess academy one two and three much easier uh, so I want you to continue to enjoy them and I want you to continue to learn from them uh, feel free I mean they are free uh, but please subscribe and uh, um, share the videos if you like them um, things like that I will try to continue to come up with some chess content for example um, the Sinkfield Cup is coming up soon um, in fact two days three days um, so uh, like I did in the last uh, few times I I managed to uh, get the PGN files for those and um, you know sort of go through one or two games of course I'm not as an expert as uh, these other guys like King Crusher Kings Crusher is uh, uh, one that I subscribe to and uh, people like that but uh, I think I think I did a, a fair job on some of them and maybe we you know maybe some of the more exciting games uh, uh, ones that I get excited about I'll, I'll be able to sort of commentary on but in any case um, this is just a spur of the moment video and I hope you enjoy it and uh, maybe next time I show you this set it'll be on the wooden board thank you for watching please subscribe and of course please enjoy the chess academies <laughs>